Everyone has a preference regarding what operating system they prefer and will usually adamantly defend their choice. The market is basically split between two industry heavyweights, Windows and Apple. Apple users are the most steadfast fans around when it comes to their OS of choice, but the company's recent practices have a lot of them questioning whether or not they should continue to support the company. Whether Apple fans like to admit it or not, the golden child of the tech world has been engaging in some seriously shady practices for some time, especially after their most recent CEO, Tim Cook, took the helm. Let's begin. Number 5 post-launch price reductions with planned obsolescence. Charging outlandish amounts during spans of launch campaigns, then drastically reducing the price, sometimes up to $200 to $300 mere months later. While not unheard of in such a rapidly changing industry, this isn't practiced by many other reputable companies and is basically just a hype train on a collision course with customer satisfaction to the detriment of the latter. All this for the sake of a bottom line that would probably fare better without the subterfuge. These reductions, along with the practice of planned obsolescence, which is exactly what it sounds like, makes the company's sales practices borderline ridiculous. They essentially allow Apple to continue to charge those launch campaign prices on a regular basis. Not cool, Tim. Number 4. Inferior Products and Engineering Apple would have you believe that the lithium-ion batteries they use in their laptops are exactly the same as every other manufacturer. The fact remains that Apple batteries routinely degrade faster than any others, filling your case with toxic gases and warping your keyboard in the process. Company spokespeople claim that this is due to lithium-ion shortcomings that are industry-wide and not really their problem. Unfortunately for them, a quick Google search reveals that Apple is the only company with batteries that regularly degrade and expand far sooner than they should, with lifespans less than half of that of any of their competitors. Add shoddy engineering, along with the company's habit of using inferior parts to save on cost, and you've got yourself a serious PR issue. Number 3. Abysmal Factory Working Conditions We all know how corporations use international laws and foreign labor forces to cut costs, usually to the detriment of their employees overseas. Apple holds its head high, repeatedly patting itself on the back for treating their employees with respect. Once again, the company assumes we've all got our heads in the sand. They also obviously don't think too highly of their customers or employees if they think we wouldn't notice their deception. One manufacturing complex, outside of Shanghai, expected its 6,000 workers to live on-site in squalid accommodations, with 12 bodies to each tiny room. Luckily, the workers had running water when they peddled stationary bikes attached to taps next to open pits of sewage. And the kicker? These workers were charged for the privilege of these accommodations. Number 2. Vendor Lock-In Practices Apple goes to incredible lengths to keep you beholden to them. Manufacturing their own parts completely unlike any industry standards is just one of many. They purposefully inhibit user-based repair through any means necessary, opting to utilize methods like fusing their LED screens directly to the glass to ensure a full replacement that only their techs are qualified to attempt. Gluing and soldering parts with no rhyme or reason, along with dropping or modding features like headphone jacks and USB ports, forces their users to rely solely on Apple tech and Apple products at a premium, while severely limiting autonomy, choice, and free will. Anyone up for a 1984 sequel? Apple certainly is. Number 1. iOS 10.2.1 The 30% Bug Three months after Forbes first reported on the issue of the now infamous 30% bug, Apple has finally confirmed that iOS 10.2.1 does indeed have a problem. This comes after dragging their feet and outright denying the charge, despite overwhelming evidence and the damning, sneaky omission of the addition of a hotfix that was supposed to fix the problem in an attempt to quietly sweep things under the rug. The company remains adamant that the bug only occurs in two of the seven models that actually have an issue, raising some immediate red flags. Apple still refused to comment much on the issue, only coming forward with further information after they get caught red-handed and with their pants down. And there, you have five things Apple doesn't want you to know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and share it, and if you haven't already, subscribe down below to get notified almost every single day with new videos from Top 5's Finest. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we
R.